have for you guys a um, chit chat, get ready with me, well, a QA, and a get ready with me. I haven't done one in a while, really wanted to do one. So, so I wanted to thank you guys for coming through with the questions. I'm going to start out with priming as well as this being a, chit, a Q and a get ready with me. I do have some new products I wanted to try out, products I've been wanting to try out. So for a primer today, I did want to go ahead and try the um, e.l.f. Mint Melt Primer. I've been trying to buy primers just because in my last video, I realized I don't have a lot of drugstore primers. The last e.l.f. primer, the Jelly Pop primer, that one made me break out, so I got rid of it, and then it kind of left me with little to nothing of drugstore. Because a lot of my primers are high-end because I received them in makeup subscription boxes. So I was like, you know what, let me go ahead and pick this one up, try it out. It'll be worth it for you guys to have multiple um, drugstore options. I know it seems like I declutter just to buy more makeup, but it, I do recycle it, I guess you could say, in a way, because I give it to other people that will use it. Like, I don't throw it away, but... Anyways, trying this primer, and I've been wanting to try this since the mint collection had come out. Oh man, I didn't realize it was a jelly primer, but um, hopefully it don't break me out like the jelly pop one did, but that's just what it looks like. It looks very similar to my um, hard candy one. It smells like chocolate mint, like mint chocolate, not so much just mint. It smells like mint chocolate. Oh yeah, that's a tacky base. Tacky, tacky base. And so I'm trying to finish this up. This is the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. So we are going to go ahead and apply that for our primer spray. And it will also be our setting spray. My face is breaking out right now. I think it's hormonal. I'm not sure. Because this cheek was breaking out. Now this cheek is clearing up. But now this cheek is starting to break out. And my forehead's just been going crazy. And I don't know, I just don't know what's going on. We are trying out a new brow pencil today. I bought this during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale. And so this is the Ulta brow pencil. I didn't buy too much from this sale, just things that I really wanted to try. Liar, liar, pants on fire. So starting with the questions, my first question was, let me see exactly how it was phrased. Just a second. What's been your favorite prayer that you've seen come to pass? So what is something that I've prayed for that came to pass that is my favorite thing? Oh my gosh, this is exactly why I didn't use this the other day. Drugstore, cheap makeup. Can we stop using this kind of packaging? It's annoying. I want to get into the product once I freaking buy it. Okay, so now that we're finally into the freaking... You know what? Let me go ahead and get this wet and wild makeup out of this stupid packaging too. Alright, you guys, so I ordered me some menudo. And I meant to order me a gordita, but I ordered me a chalupa. That's my bad. It's really craving a... And you guys, I am not a menudo fan. Like, I despise menudo, but I took my sister out to lunch on Monday. She's like, oh, I've been craving menudo so bad. Now I got a bite of her menudo whenever I took her out to lunch, and it's like, now I can't stop eating it. Like, I, this is my second time eating it this week. So the first question was, what was, what is my favorite prayer that I've prayed that has come to pass? Um, I'm using this dark brown brow pencil from Ulta. I feel like I've had so many prayers come to pass, but I would have to say... Honestly, just God's provision, like his protection most of all, because my family has remained very, very healthy throughout all of this. And I don't know if it's, it's obviously not of ourselves. We, we eat right, we'll try to eat right. We try to eat right most of the time. We, you know, take vitamins, make sure we're getting all our nutrients, take our vitamin C, take all these things that are supposed to boost your immune system. I use essential oils when we're sick. I use teas, like, probiotics just all the good things like I do all of that but I know there's a lot of people that do do all of that and they've gotten sick so only by God has he protected us not only in the physical realm of like never allowing harm to come to my family physically but also just health wise so I think that's my favorite prayer that continues to come to pass daily is just our health just being healthy in general like that's something we pray over constantly and we're just so thankful for that because honestly if we didn't have our health then like where like like where would we be? What would we be doing if we didn't have our health? You know, we wouldn't be able to be as active or take care of what we need to take care of because I mean if Brian's health declines like I don't work. Like he's our income, so very, very thankful for good health. Next question is Where's the last person? Where's the last place you worked? Me so bored at work right now. I, the last place I actually worked was at a daycare. 
adds a whole story time within itself but yeah the last place i worked was at a daycare and let's just say i'm a good mom i have the gift of taking care of my kids so i am using the in, in, incognito mas, uh, mascara concealer but yeah um like i was saying i, I have the gift of t you know being a good mom and things like that i do not have the gift of caring for other people's children unless they're like family like i just don't have the patience for other people's kids and i think the issue is that i just i don't know like why do your kids act the way that they do and i'm not saying that my kids are perfect but with other people they are like if somebody else watches my kids like all we hear are compliments about how well they listened or how good they did and that's not me bragging on me that's me bragging on my kids for making us look good because when they're with me they act belligerent sometimes there's times that i've full on left full baskets of groceries in the store and left because my kids don't know how to act. So not saying my kids are perfect, but ugh, and I cannot stand an undisciplined child. Whatever discipline looks like for you, I cannot stand an undisciplined child. Like a child that does not have consequences for their bad actions. Them kids be the worst, but um, yeah. Daycare was where I last worked and all of that other stuff was just extra tea. <laughs> Favorite dessert, that's hard. I feel like it changes all the time here. Recently, it's been like sweet breads, like cinnamon rolls, honey buns, donuts, and what, they're all so unhealthy, but and I should have known I was about to start my period. I had a crazy sweet tooth. But yeah, it's been stuff like that. That's been my favorite dessert lately. So my mom and sister got me this beauty book, and y'all wanna know something funny? So it came with this little film over the eyeshadows and I thought it was eyeshadow names. So I took the time to strategically tape it over here so I could remember the names of the eyeshadow. But y'all, all it says is eyeshadow, eyeshadow, eyeshadow. It's not names. But I, I was like, man, I took all that time trying to place it perfectly over there. And them ain't even the names of the eyeshadows. It just says, it just says eyeshadow. Let me prime my lids first. I don't know what color eyeshadow I want to do. I'm probably going to do something brown again. Like that's always my go-to is like a bronzy look. But that's what we're going to do. We're just chatting it up and it's not a tutorial or anything. You know what? I did not. Okay, so I'm going to take this shade here, right here, and start blending that into the crease. And so yeah, that was my favorite dessert. And the next question was, what is the biggest surprise that you encountered once you got married? I'm terrified. I think the biggest surprise, and I know who you are, and you're, you are a follower of God too, is that your first year of marriage is freaking hard. Like most people are like, oh, it's like the three year mark, the five year mark, the seven year mark. No, that first, like the first two years of marriage are freaking hard, especially if you didn't live with each other before you got married, because then you learn that you may love this person, but you ain't gonna like them all the time. <laughs> like, I think that's the biggest surprise. Like, man, I love Brian, but sometimes, and I'm sure it goes the same way with me, like I just do not like him or his ways. Like, <laughs> that's the biggest surprise in marriage is that because obviously we all know like you can't change anyone, but that the first year is the hardest year. So give yourself grace because it's gonna be hard. And especially when you are married in Christ, the enemy is going to attack you because you're going to get married and be fruitful and multiply and have other little baby Christian soldiers rising up after you for generations and Ooh, the enemy does not like that. He is going to pin you guys again. Ooh, ooh, not going to, but he is going to attack that marriage. And that Brian and I still get attacked from time to time. And it's just now we're stronger and now it don't affect us like it once did. But boy, yeah, biggest surprise is that I don't like Brian all the time. I love him, but I don't always like him. <laughs> and that's okay. You guys learning each other. You'll have good days you'll have bad days but that the biggest surprise was that i don't like him all the time <laughs> what is moting what is motivating you to get fit and healthy honestly the only thing motivating me is the fact like i said earlier is health like i just there's too much that i want to do and too much that i need to set up for my kids 
to where if I am gone, they are okay. There's too much that needs to be done. They're growing, they need all of mom. They don't need parts of mom, they need all of me. And, you know, they need mom to play with them, you know, wrestle with them. They need, they need my time and attention. And if I'm just constantly feeling unhealthy or I'm out of breath, I can't keep up, like, I don't know. I feel like, to me, that's kind of terrible. But, again, it's just my health in general. I don't want to go before my time because I can't have self-control over what I eat or being lazy. You know, it's. I feel like... Having self-control over what you eat and what you do is like the ultimate self-control because I feel like if you can control that and fight against the grain of being lazy and just eating like garbage, like you'll learn self-control over everything else so fast. So yeah, that is probably my biggest thing. It's just like, it's, it's a form of self-control, but also like I want to be here for my babies. I don't want to, ooh. I don't want to go before I'm supposed to go. I want them to have as much as me for as long as they can. Oh, I was not expecting that to be that color. I'm all, I'm just gonna do something bronzy. Lies. You profusion eyeshadow palettes pack a punch. I'm gonna try to this purple. What keeps you spiritually disciplined? And this kind of ties into what I was just saying about teaching myself, teaching myself self-control and other aspects such as what I eat, what I do with my time. It really helps. That's why I decided to take the social media break is because I felt like too much of my time was going into idleness of just scrolling on social media. Or anytime I had my phone in my hand, the first thing I wanted to do was, oh, let me just scroll on social media. And now that I'm not, on social media when I'm sitting down editing because I had a really really bad habit of like whenever I sat down to do my time with God or anything like that or sat down to edit anytime I sat down to do anything that required me to be productive I had a bad habit of getting on my phone and like oh just 10 minutes of social media before I start whatever I'm about to do and it got really bad to the point to where I used to not even allow myself to get on social media before I just spent any time with God, whether that be praying, whether that be listening to worship music. Whenever I got out of the bed, I was, I was, had myself not like, I told myself you're not allowed to get on social media until you spent time from God. From the time my eyes opened until the time I spent some time with God, I was not supposed to be getting on social media. But here recently, I would say like within the last month, as soon as I get on my phone in the morning, the first thing I started checking was social media. So I was like, okay, I really need to take a break. Like this is getting out of hand. And honestly, like, I don't have Facebook. I haven't had Facebook for a long time now. Brian doesn't have any social media whatsoever, and I wish I could do that. I truly do, but I like to, I like social media to keep up with you guys, kind of take you guys throughout my day because I'm not weekly vlogging every single week anymore. And I think it's kind of fun, like, on the spot just to show you guys something that I find or little funny moments throughout my day or to encourage you guys to work out, like, I really find that fun and also like to promote my videos because I know YouTube's algorithm is tripping right now. I don't even want to talk about it. It's been very discouraging for me. And so, you know, I need it right now to kind of promote my videos and send them out there so that way you guys can see, oh, okay, like she, she, she uploaded a video. Let me go watch it. So that way you guys can see. And I'm using this Il Maquillage um, Black Card i lift curl and lengthening mascara i really like this it's just weird the wand is kind of weird so i don't know if you can see how the wand is flat on like like there's no bristles on one side and only on the other side and it's curled i thought that would bother me but it really doesn't but yeah what keeps me spiritually disciplined honestly is just fasting fasting things that i see are taking up too much time out of my day that i could be spending with god or just spending with my family and you know because my family that God has given me so my married family my husband and my kids like they are what keeps me on the firm foundation and on the narrow path ultimately because it's kind of like if I don't like like, if, like like they hold me accountable and so if I'm not spending time with them like how are they able to strengthen me or how am I able to allow myself to be strengthened by them so it's really just like I I, I fast things that take up 
or cause me to stumble in my walk that take up time away from God or things that cause me to stumble in my walk you know I don't I try not to allow myself to get addicted to anything because then it becomes sinful because you're putting it before God you're serving it as a God so I think the only thing that really keeps me so self-controlled spiritually is fasting just fasting the things that start to take up time away from God or hinder me from growing when was the last time you cried and why which is funny because we talk about being spiritually disciplined but Saturday Brian and I had a misunderstanding it caused us to get into an argument and I did disrespect him a little bit and that's never okay and then I understood afterwards and after he told me but my flesh wanted to act up so bad so bad and it was all from misunderstanding me having expectations on Brian that I can't put on him because we're not the same person so unrealistic expectations but I was so mad I was so mad because I wanted to be the old alley I wanted to act out show out yell at him cuss at him like all these things and I just cried and I cried because I was so tired like I'm at the moment like cilantro on my teeth <laughs> So like at the moment, I was so tired of the little petty arguments because we had been having a lot of misunderstandings misunderstandings the previous week. And so like it was just all building up, building up. And so I was like, you know what? Like I'm about to just act out. And then Holy Spirit checked me. I was like, no, no, you're not. Like you're gonna be the woman of God that I called you to be. And I was just like crying because it's hard. It's hard to, I wasn't crying because I wanted to be mean. I was crying because I didn't want to give in to my flesh and I was so upset and so bothered and I feel like I shouldn't have even allowed myself to get there in a point where I wanted to treat him like that so I cried and I mean I cried a good cry silent cry of tears just pouring down my face because I was like I don't want to be this person I don't want to revert back to old ways I don't want to have old habits like I was just so much but I was honestly crying because I didn't want to hurt him and I come from a past of self-harm and I didn't want to hurt myself. And so I just cried. And so I, I just cried because I was, I don't know, I just cried. I mean, the, yeah, the disagreement and the argument is what triggered everything, but I just cried because I didn't want to be a bad person. I didn't want to hurt him. I didn't want to hurt myself because I feel like that ruins my testimony towards you guys. And so after our argument, I just cried for like an hour, cleaning the house, just crying because I like to clean the house when I'm frustrated. It kind of calms me down or if I'm feeling anxious, I'll organize something. But so I was just cleaning the house, crying. And it was all because I didn't want to be a bad person. <laughs> like I didn't want to feel the way I was feeling. I was tired of feeling the way I was feeling. And I was mad at myself for putting unrealistic expectations on my husband and it wasn't even his fault, but I treated him bad. And like, I'm not saying I treated him terribly, but like the way I kind of spoke to him was out of line. And I mean, it was just, it was just a lot. And like, I, I keep saying, like, it wasn't that he was mean to me because he really wasn't mean to me at all. Like, I just didn't want to be mean to him. I didn't want to hurt him, say something that would hurt him, do something that would hurt him. And then because I didn't want to hurt him, I didn't want to hurt myself because in my past, that's why I would self-harm is because I didn't want to hurt other people so I would hurt myself or I would just be hurting so much and I couldn't hurt the people that were hurting me so I would hurt myself but I you know I just cried it out and I felt so much better kind of assess the situation okay Ali what can you do next time but also not allow it to change you as a person not allow it to change my giving heart oh my gosh people need to quit sleeping on salon perfect lashes these are their lashes in the style 661 and these are their extension seeker lashes i had to rip the thing because there was no sales associate in the walmart aisle where the lashes were to take them off for me so i just ripped the packaging and took them off i wasn't stealing them but i'm just like if you're gonna make people have to ask for assistance like maybe you should have somebody over here to assist people but i did go to the ghetto walmart so okay so yeah it was hard that day was a hard day for me and just fighting all the feelings because feelings are valid and the way you may feel is valid and you may have every reason to feel how you feel but it's never okay to 
act on those feelings or act out of those feelings because they're temporary they're gonna go away and you don't want to cause permanent damage off of temporary feelings and so that was just like a whole battle it wasn't a battle against brian it was really a battle within myself and it was a hard one but i won i won that battle <laughs> So this is what they look like in the packaging, if I can get it. So this is what they look like in the packaging. They're so pretty. All right, done So with that. So, so for foundation, I've been seeing Juicy Jazz talk about this. This is the Oma Beauty um, by Sharon C. This is their Flawless IRL Skin Perfecting Foundation. And I have the shade Honey Honey T2. Um, they didn't have T1, and so the next shade down from that was like, um, what was it called? It wasn't fair, but it was like the light shade. It was the blue lids, and I was going to get T4 or 6, which was like the darkest in that range. But it kind of will still look too light, so I was like, you know what? Let me just try this one. This is T2, and yeah. So we're just going to pump it. Oh, good thing I went with T2, because that looks like it's going to be like, my perfect shade yeah definitely looks like it's gonna be my perfect shade oh that coverage is really good the smell reminds me of the original wet and wild foundation so i've been trying this new thing where i don't put foundation directly underneath my eye on my under eyes so that way i don't look too cakey under there or creasy well T2 is like perfect. If I need a winter shade, I would definitely go down to the lighter, the sh the blue lid, but the darkest shade in the blue lid. That was two pumps that I did, so let's do two more. Well, maybe it was three pumps, I think, because that doesn't look like the two pumps now. I wish my hormones would calm down so I can stop breaking out. Brian called it before I did too. He was like, are you breaking out? Are you about to start your period? And I was like, I don't think so. I was like, I think it's something I use. And then I looked at my flow app and it was like period in 12 days. And I was like, oh yeah, I am about to start my period. And I get all of my like PMS symptoms two weeks before my period instead of just the week before. Like the week before my skin will clear up, I'll drop the water weight. And then once I'm on my period, I'll get all the symptoms all over again. And then the week after everything clears up again. So weird. So like every other week I have good skin and every other week I have terrible skin. Wow, that is so pretty. That is so pretty and such a perfect shade for me. Oh, love it. So now I'm going in with concealer. So many people have raved about this. I say so many people and the only two people that I really watch like consistently that rave about this are Jessica Braun and Leela. That's my girl, Leela. Go check out her channel if you like. Strictly Beauty, Project Pans, Empties, Shop My Stash videos. She really works hard to use up her products. So if you like things like that, go check out Leela's channel. I'm so proud of her. I didn't, I did start following her before she hit her 1,000 subscribers. But she's like, once she hit her 1,000 subscribers, like things like took off for her. And I'm like so happy for her. But go subscribe to her channel because she'll be cracking me up sometimes. And especially if you're on my channel and you're not Christian. And so like you like kind of the like bout it, bout it life. Like she's that bout it, bout it life. So yeah, I know I can be super conservative. She is not. So yeah. And that's the beautiful thing about that is like you can still be acquaintances with people even if your views aren't the same. I don't know what has happened to the world where they think just because you disagree on something, like, you're wrong, you suck at life type of mentality. Oh, I got the perfect shade. I got this in light medium. Sorry, guys. Back to the questions. I wanted to get some makeup done first because I'm running out of questions. So the next one was, out of all of your family members, who are you the closest to? Um, does Brian count? Because <laughs> he is my family and he is who I'm closest to. But if you mean outside of that, ever since my sister Faith moved to Dallas, like we're still close whenever she comes and like we're like inseparable whenever she comes. But right now it's my sister Destiny, like all of like my two older sisters, one's in San Antonio and the other one just kind of like lives her own life, does her own thing. And so, yeah, it's Destiny. We try to hang out at least once a week. This week we've been hanging out a lot more um, ever since a lot of... People close to me have lost loved ones. I've been making it 
a point in my life to take more pictures, be more present, and just spend more time with them. You know, no matter how tired I am, no matter what I have on my schedule, like just to spend more time with them. So if you notice like my uploading schedule has been all over the place, it's because I've really just been trying to spend more time with them. But me and Destiny have been close because we're only three years apart and we both of us are the, ch the daughters from my mom. So first of all, wow. I feel like I don't even need to set my makeup. Like other than like the tacky feeling, I hate that feeling. Well, it's not tacky, but like, because I know it's not set, I feel like I can, I don't know. I don't know, it's weird, but wow, that is so pretty. So we're using the NYX Mattifying Powder in Light. This is the Can't Stop, Won't Stop. And I don't know why I got, I didn't realize that it was mattifying. I just bought it because people rave about it and I need to, <laughs> ah. I need to quit doing stuff just because people basically tell me to. I got the shade light because medium or golden looked golden, if that makes sense. But I also got light just in case this was too dark. I was like, I could put this on top. So we don't have to try this today over powder because I forgot to do it under powder. And I picked it out, but like I said, I've really been loving doing contour over powder. Okay, so yeah, me and Destiny been close forever, so it's not like, um, we just always been close. R.O.D. close. But me and all my sisters are close. Like we all like, no matter what, no matter how long it's been since some of us have talked, like, we will all throw down for each other. Christian or not, like we will have each other's back. Especially me, I was always the crazy one. Like people used to not tell me, like my sisters used to not tell me when someone messed with them because like I was not about that life. Like, no, like you don't know. Me and Destiny right now are the closest and we've always been like super close. Even like during our arguments, we never like had, me and Destiny have never had like big blow up arguments. They've always been like, all right, whatever, we're just not gonna talk for a while. And then all of a sudden, like, we start talking again. But, I mean, that's, that's like family though. So it's not like anything crazy. We just, I don't know, me and Destiny. She's actually on her way over here right now. So I'm trying to hurry so we can spend some time together. Some time together. And we're probably gonna hang out till like 2.45, 2.50 about almost three hours okay so we're gonna do the lower lash line lash line you know what would be really pretty if i used this la girl pastel dream auto liner in lavender but i am going to go back in with this and take this contour shade right here and put it on the lower lash line and then we will put this down there Oh, I need to be asking some questions. I still have a couple more. Okay, did you have a honeymoon? If so, where did you go? If not, then where do you wish to go? You wish you'd go? Mm. No, we did not have a honeymoon. Uh, right after we got married, I ended up pregnant with a Bryson. And so that happened. But um, we were gonna, for our five year anniversary, we were gonna go on a cruise, but then they did the whole you have to be vaccinated to get on a cruise. And so we were like, okay, that's out the question. And then I was looking at trips to, was it Jamaica? But then that didn't happen just because like the time off that Brian would have to take and stuff like that. I pray for the day that we are able to take trips like that without worrying about PTO and income and things like that. But um, right now, anywhere tropical is where I wish we would go. I just want to be on a beach somewhere. And like me and Brian are so much the same that we're like, we don't want to go on vacations to like sightsee, tour. Like we want to go on a vacation to eat and be lazy somewhere. Like, <laughs> but yeah. And then we were going to do a trip for, our, like I said, for our five year anniversary, which is in October of this year. So I don't know. We're still planning that out. But it's just hard right now because like I don't want to go to other states because they're cray cray. But, like every time somebody goes to Florida, they come back COVID positive. So don't want to go to Florida. That's this mascara is so good. The first day I used it, I was like, I do not think I like this. But again, one of the mascaras, you got to let dry out a smidge. Yeah. 
I haven't been on a honeymoon anywhere tropical is where I'd want to go. So the last question, who was your very fresh crush? You can remember how old were you? So my very fresh cr first crush ever was this boy named Jonathan. And I was in third grade. I was in third grade. So whatever grade that is. And he was a little black boy. And I always joke and tell people, see, even from the get go, I knew I was going to be with a black man because <laughs> my first crush was a little black boy. But I will say that once I came to God, I was like, Lord, whatever you have for me, your will be done. Not my own little press, not my own little, um, preference but whatever you have for me and then I got my boo God knew God knew what I was attracted to he cares about things like that because obviously you want your marriage to be successful Jaclyn Hill highlighter oh, I just used the complex culture using the Jaclyn Hill highlighter but yeah crushes and who was I even like I did not need to be like you know boys in third grade there's a little girl though I dropped off Ethan yesterday she was like, Ethan, come sit with me. I don't know what that boy be doing, but every year there's a little girl in his class that's obsessed with him. And I'm just like, oh, oh, really? That's how you want to play? Okay, but no, I don't be crazy, y'all. I don't be crazy. <laughs> I feel like y'all are going to get tired of seeing this soon. Next left liner in brown. Let me do this because I keep forgetting, but Juicy Jazz is always raving about the well-rested Bare Minerals Eye Brightener. And I see why. It's good. It's real good. And you don't need a lot either. Like I usually use that much for both under eyes. And it brightens it up so pretty. Gorgeous. Wow, with the Chola lips. Okay, so I have this color pout, oh, color pout, cloud pout marshmallow lip mousse from Wet n Wild in the shade Love You S'more. <laughs> it's cute. Um, obviously falls right around the corner. I don't know if this is going to be way too dark. Taking a look around my table to make sure I used everything. So if this one's too dark, I have a little backup here. Also from the Ulta, so this was from the Ulta 21 Day of Beauty sale. This was from the Ulta's 21 Day of Beauty sale, the brow pencil, and then I bought three Smashbox lipsticks. And they all look like they're very similar. They're very similar, but they are not the same. But I'm sure if Brian saw, he'd probably like, why'd you buy three of the same lipstick? But I did not. Wow, I just bit everywhere. I also have a bunch of Giorgio Armani lip products I need to try. There's actually one in there that might be perfect. So let's just swatch this one and then I'm gonna grab the George. Oh, this is nice chocolatey. You know what? I'm gonna save this. First of all, it matches the lip liner perfectly. And I'm gonna do my makeup, like my base, but then on my eyes, I'm just gonna do a brown wing. And then I'm gonna put this look, y'all. That's gonna be cute. But the other lip I was going to use is the Smashbox lipstick um, in Stepping Out. So it just looks like this, but again, I don't feel like that's the right tone. And then all the other ones are too nude. But let me grab this because there's a shade in there that is perfect for this eye look, I believe. Okay, so Influencer sent me this. And it's a bunch of Giorgio Armani stuff. So I have their luminous silk primer and then i have quite a bit i think i got three of their intense velvet color lip maestro maestro three of their lip maestros and i can never remember is it rose nomad no this isn't the one i was thinking of look how pretty this one is you guys this one is this one is called palazzo Ooh, pretty brick red. That's really pretty. And then this one is called Rose Nomad. Oh, that's pretty. I chose some good colors because you do get. I did get to pick the colors I got. And then the last one I got, which is the one that I believe is that I'm thinking of, is called Tadzio. Oh, this is just super nude, but I'm gonna just use it anyway. I don't know why I thought I had a purple tone lipstick. 
those are very very similar so let's just use this that is moosey cute let's set the brows And then let's curl uno mas and then set and we are done. So many swatches on my hand. <laughs> I wonder if these stay a little bit glossy because it doesn't say anything about being matte. It just says that they're intense velvet color. So we'll set this. All right, you guys, that was it for today's Q&A. Get ready with me. I hope that you guys enjoyed not only the makeup look, but, you know, getting a little bit of my business or whatever if you do want to be a part of the next q a do pay attention to snapchat and instagram that's where i post whenever i'm wanting to do a q a um i actually loved every single product i tried today so no duds at all in today's video i loved everything so yeah i love you guys but always remember that jesus loves you more if you haven't already please go ahead and give me a thumbs up also hit that subscribe button and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys Mwah!